All right, so now I'm taking... A big, yeah, you see that I'm cold. The snowflake there shows you that I'm too cold. So essentially, I've logged in. So if you log in, right when you log in, and if you log in right by a wolf, or you log in and it's raining, it looks like you're going to die within just a matter of seconds because look at my health. It's going way down. That's not cool, developer. Like, a kid, your, your player doesn't even have any time to do anything and you've got him freezing to death within, you know, literally minutes or seconds. But I spent eight minutes running from a wolf and then it starts raining and getting cold and now I'm going to die from, from cold exposure. That is the kind of stuff that will frustrate a player and piss a player off and cause a player to refund the game. Especially when you're playing offline. Like, you should have checks in place that prevent players from, you know, from experiencing this kind of frustration. This isn't fair. This isn't fun. It's annoying. Yeah, but I'm going to die here. And there we go. So you died, and then it gives you a tip. You can build a bed. Right. Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute. What is going on? I, I, just, I need to click here to respawn. I get that. And I understand it's really cold. But why did I die a second? Why am I dying over and over again? What in the freaking hell is going on here? Like, why do I continue to die over and over again? Look at this. Like, I'm just dying over and over again while I'm waiting to respawn. Developer, this is another simple check. Like, why would you have a game on Steam right now that people pay money for with this kind of a bug, this kind of an unexcusable bug at this point? It's a simple check. If you're on the death screen, if you have a respawn button in the game, it needs to stop checking to see if I'm dying of cold. It needs to stop checking to see if I'm dying to a wolf. It needs to stop checking to see... I shouldn't be in the game, period. You shouldn't have any checks for death going on when you're waiting to respawn. That is... There's no excuse for your game having this problem at this point in the game. The game came out almost four months ago, and I don't care if you're adding new stuff to the game. This is inexcusable. You should be embarrassed by this. Uh, you've realized people can buy your game right now, and this is the kind of frustration they're going to experience. So we have to sit here and wait until our temperature goes up before we can respawn, because if we don't, we're just going to get cold and die again. So that's why I'm waiting, but I shouldn't be seeing that my character's just dying over and over and over again, making a huge pile of of corpses. This is just nonsense and absolutely I'm silly. Able to loot myself from dying. See, this is this is what's silly, guys. Look at all this easy loot I'm getting. I mean, it doesn't bother me because I can try building a house now or whatever, but this is just silly. Massive, massive bugs. And this is what I'm talking to the developer. This is why I'm saying you need to quit adding shit. And I don't know why... It's, it's like it's mirroring... These backpacks are mirroring my backpack. Like, what kind of a major issues is this? Like, It's like I open a backpack and it has a random chance of uh, mirroring my inventory. What the hell is that? Like, that's just like being lazy as a developer. If you seriously have code in your code that if you open up one of your old backpacks, it just has a random chance to mirror everything in your current backpack. See what I'm saying? It's mirroring everything here. 200. This is unacceptable, and this isn't even a bug. Guys, I'm enough of a developer and enough of coding that I can see what this developer's done. He's just made it so that if you, if you open up a backpack of yourself, the game doesn't remember what contents were in your backpack when you died instead what he's done is he's just said you know what i'm not gonna have the game remember what contents were in your backpack when you died because none of these backpacks should have anything in them so instead what he's done is he's went in there and said oh let's give it a like a 30 percent chance of when you open a backpack it'll just mirror everything in your current backpack that is extremely lazy coding how are you going to code a game that you're going to sell on Steam? Developer, I have I want to like your game. I want to support you. But this right here, seeing this bug right here, infuriates me. This is infuriating. This, quite frankly, pisses me off. 
Like this is if you were making a game to put up on you know Game Jolt or Itchio dot com or something like that for free, sure, do this kind of code. But this is some of the laziest, most incompetent code and w mechanics in a game that I've ever seen. I don't know that I've ever seen worse game mechanics and lazy coding than what I'm looking at right here. This is my last video. This is my last attempt to try to help this developer. He, he is, this developer is insisting on continuing to make this game worse and worse and worse. So there you go. I can't, I can't help him anymore. Um, I'm not going to expose these bugs anymore. So good luck to you, developer. At, at some point, you just got to, you know, you just got to see that this developer doesn't want to listen. This developer doesn't want to make his game better. He just wants to continue to act like he's making the game better by adding more and more shit. But in the process, he's adding more and more bugs and problems to the game. And uh, it's getting worse. And it's like he doesn't care. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, wa I want to help the guy. I want to help the guy help himself. But this developer, just it, he just doesn't, he doesn't seem to care. I don't know. It's sad.